Tiny Waistline, do these eight things. Hello to all my subscribers and anyone new to this channel. I am Dr. Parker and please continue to watch this video from Fit and Wellness Over 50 about how to achieve a tiny waistline. It is not easy to get a small waistline. You have to work hard for it. It requires a lot of discipline and commitment. Now there are many different ways to lose weight, but not all of them work for everyone. The key is to find a diet and exercise plan that is tailored especially to you and your needs. However, there are some tricks that can help you maintain your desired waistline. The best way to reduce your torso size is through a combination of diet, exercise, and a healthy lifestyle. Now we are going to explore the best waistline slimming exercises and diet tips that will help you get a thinner and snatched waistline. The human body is designed to store excess fat in the midsection, which is not just unhealthy, but also unattractive. The good news is that there are plenty of ways to lose inches off your waist and get a slimmer figure. This video is about the popular solutions for slimming your waistline. We will talk about eight things that you can do in order to achieve this goal. Number one, eat healthy foods. Eating healthy is the key to a slimmer waistline. Eating healthy will help you lose weight and maintain a healthy lifestyle. Eat more veggies. Eating vegetables is one of the best ways to achieve a tiny waistline. They are high in fiber, which helps with digestion and weight loss. Vegetables are full of vitamins, minerals, and fiber, which help you to keep satisfied for longer periods of time. They are also low in calorie and contains no sugar, which makes an excellent choice for any diet, such as broccoli, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, green beans, kale, and carrots. Now eating fewer carbs, achieving a tiny waistline does not mean that you have to eat less. Dieting and starving yourself will not lead to a healthy lifestyle. Instead, you need is a healthy diet and exercise. Now the best way to achieve a tiny waistline is by eating fewer carbs. Doing this will help you lose weight and keep your body in shape. However, it is not that simple. You should also remember to eat healthy fats and lean proteins as they are essential for a healthy metabolism. With this in mind, here are some examples of what you can and what you shouldn't eat. Eat more fish and vegetables. Avoid processed food. Avoid processed foods as much as possible to maintain a balanced diet. Processed foods are high in sugar, salt, and fat, which are all unhealthy for your waistline. Processed foods also have a lot of preservatives, which can make you feel bloated and sluggish. Number one, eat more proteins. Protein is the building block of muscles, so it's essential that you would eat enough of it. Protein helps us feel full for longer, and it also helps our muscles grow. It is important to eat a good balance between animal-based proteins, such as meat, fish, eggs, cheese, and a plant-based protein, such as legumes. Eat fats. Fats are necessary for our health because they provide us with energy and help us absorb vitamins A, D, E, and K. Omega-3s are an important type of fat that we need in order to function properly. Now, these fats can be found only in oily fish such as salmon or mackerel or in foods such as avocados or olive oil. Now, if you're looking for a diet that would help you get this tiny wasteland, Give these tips a try. 
Drink water. Drinking water is the best, and it is a proven natural way to lose weight. This is because water is necessary for our body to function properly. It helps flush out toxins and also keep you hydrated. Now, the human body is made up of 65% water, and it's important to keep this percentage high in order to maintain good health. If you drink eight glasses of water a day, that's about 64 ounces, which is the recommended amount for healthy adults. Exercise. The best way to lose weight is to get your body moving. Exercising regular is very important for getting a tight waistline because it burns calories and tone your muscles, which would help shrink that waistline. Exercising is also great for the heart and lungs. You can do exercises like crunches, planks, squats, or lunges for this purpose. Now, there are many ways to do this, but the most effective is to do a mixture of cardio and weight training. Cardio can be done for about 20 minutes on average, five times a week. Weight training should be done for about 30 minutes, three times per week, and it should focus on strengthening your core muscles as well as your upper and lower body. Practice mindful eating. Mindful eating involves being aware of what you're putting in your mouth and how it makes you feel before, during, and after the meal. And the benefits of mindful eating includes weight loss, improved digestion, reduced food craving, and improved mental health. The mindful eating practices are a set of strategies that can help you eat less and feel more satisfied. Sleep well. Sleeping well is one of the most important aspects of a healthy lifestyle. Sleep deprivation can lead to high levels of cortisol, which causes the bodies to store fat in the abdominal area. Try to get at least seven hours of sleep every night and take naps during the day if possible. Not only does it provide you with a sense of mental wellness, but it also helps regulate your hormones that control metabolism. And as we all well know, regulating your metabolism rate will help you lose weight faster. Unwind and relax on a daily basis. The best way to find a way to relax is to find what works for you. Some people prefer deep breathing exercising. Deep breathing exercises are one of the best ways to relax your abdominal muscles and reduce stress levels. Maintain a healthy weight. Now, losing weight gradually is important to achieve a snatched waistline. Now, the key to achieving your healthy weight is to maintain a calorie deficit. A calorie deficit is the difference between the number of calories you consume and the number of calories your body uses. Along with maintaining a healthy weight, please try to cut out as much sugar as possible. Sugar is an addictive substance that can lead to weight gain. Now, cutting out sugar is one of the simplest ways to lose weight. Cutting out sugar from your diet is not easy and it requires a lot of willpower, but the health benefits are worth it. The first thing to do is to stop consuming sugar-sweetened beverages such as sodas, energy drinks, and iced tea or coffee with that added sugar. Conclusion, it is not always easy to maintain a healthy diet and exercise regimen, but if you are able to stay on top of it, the results can be very rewarding. And if you tried everything and you're still not satisfied with your waistline, then go to your doctor for help. And if you find this video to be informative, please give us a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be notified weekly of more informative videos. Thank you for watching and please share your stories.